Good evening. I am Dr. George Joseph, Professor of Cardiology at Christian Medical College, Velo. My area of specialization is aortic diseases and uh, I would like to raise awareness about aortic diseases in India. This is a fairly common problem. It affects both young and old people and uh, we have a wide spectrum of diseases that affect the aorta. One is aortic aneurysms and aortic aneurysms are basically dilatation of the aorta like a balloon and the danger is that ultimately it will burst and cause internal bleeding and death. The good news is that these are treatable. Till now we had only open surgery as an option for this but today we are able to treat this without surgery by doing endovascular procedures and which are something like keyhole surgery. It's done from the groin and with, with very little uh, morbidity for the patient. The important thing about aortic aneurysms is that they should be diagnosed before they reach the point of bursting and causing internal bleeding. So the usual symptoms are pain in some part of the body like chest pain, back pain, abdominal pain, or it may cause uh, pressure effects like it may compress uh, some structures like the arteries supplying the kidney or it may press nerves that one uses for speaking and cause hoarseness of voice. So the treatment is nowadays more endovascular than by open surgery and if you go to a good center that is specialized in endovascular treatment of aneurysms you can expect a good result. Another problem that affects the aorta, which is fairly common in India, is a rarer disease called Takayasu arteritis. This is a disease that causes both narrowing of the aorta as well as dilatation of the aorta. And this requires two kinds of treatments to be done together. One is immunosuppressive therapy with medications and the other is angioplasty where we dilate the obstructions using balloons and stents or we treat aneurysms with a special kind of stent known as endografts. So with this combination of treatment, we are able to give the patients a normal life expectancy and a normal lifestyle. Again, the important thing with this disease is diagnosis in a timely fashion and there are a number of symptoms that can be associated with this disease. Most typically it is Claudication, that means when the patient uses his arms or legs, the, there is fatigue of the arms and legs because of inadequate blood supply to these extremities. It can also cause dizziness and breathlessness and very high blood pressure. So consult your doctor and if there is a suspicion of arteritis, get a CT scan done. A CT angiogram will be able to find the extent of this disease and then again go to a center that specialized in treatment of arteritis, Takayasu arteritis, and you can expect to have the problem satisfactorily resolved. Thank you.